Alright guys, in this video we're going to talk about Fortnite, uh, Fort Nightmares event that happens every October. And this year is not going to be any different. So right here, I'm showing you footage of the history of Fort Nightmares. This is 2019. The Fort Nightmares event was the Storm King. The epic Storm King. Storm King was to me it was the best event we ever had so far you know the Storm King as you can see he would appear in the center of the Battle Royale map the circle will be all around you cannot go anywhere you had to be right there in front of his face and I think it was up to what as you can see right there is 12 players so it's probably 12 players per match and we all had to fight the Storm King as a team. It was amazing. It was a lot of fun. And if you managed to defeat the Storm King, you were able to get the Storm King umbrella, which I have and you saw at the beginning of the video. You could rewind and see it again. And it was amazing. It was amazing. It was all about teamwork and surviving. And he would summon these tentacle pillars which would spawn cube monsters it was amazing it was amazing and to be honest i hope fortnite decides to bring this back one day but with a different reward i don't want them to bring back the storm king umbrella because that's unique to that event but i honestly hope they bring this back or a version of this back because this event was truly amazing as you can see right there he's huge and you gotta hit the weak spots he has that devastating laser attack that if he gets you it's over he destroys builds he has this wave attack that destroys builds it was it was just amazing and it was so satisfying to defeat him like you we would work so hard and he would constantly have new life bars like when we destroy his life bar a new one appears it was just like i don't remember how many life bars it was i think it was like 10 life bars we had to destroy and then when you destroy all his weak spots when you destroy all his weak spots eventually uh, you will get his horn to sh as a weak spot and you had to destroy both his horns if I'm not mistaken you had to destroy both his horns to defeat him so you got to destroy all his weak spots and then his horns to defeat him and get the storm king umbrella it was epic then in 2020 we had the shadow Midas event. This is back when Midas just ended. The, 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 the season Midas was here just ended. And the uh, agency was right in the middle of the map. And everybody basically was going in. And the trick was not to get killed. Because if you get killed. Oh my god, if you get killed, I got killed by a henchman for God's sake. If you get killed, you had to respawn, which was amazing, as a shadow. And what was amazing about the shadow is that everybody who died gathered up as a team and had to search for the surviving players and basically get them to win, unless the player will win. And you could eat weapons, which was amazing. You could eat weapons to heal. And at the same time, you're, you're taking that weapon away from players that might get it. So it was a pretty unique event. I wouldn't say it was truly loved everywhere. This was amazing that you could just uh, possess cars. To me, I like this event. But it was not as great as the Storm, as the storm Camp. The Storm King to me was still the best, but this event was really a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. And it was just amazing, especially when you're playing with friends. You can't go wrong with Fortnite Nightmares. Now to the next year. 
And the next year was Herd Rush. Herd Rush was in, what was it, 2021. And basically, you had to survive this moving circle around the map and destroy these cubes, which were spawning cube monsters. And as long as you destroy the cube, you could get a chest. And the point was to gear up as much as possible because at the very end you had to fight this boss the skinny tall guy which was so hard to kill he gave us such a hard time we tried multiple times to kill this guy <laughs> we eventually did that was a good thing we eventually did learn how to kill him and this event was awesome. I played this event multiple times. The reward was a backswing, if I'm not mistaken. It was a... A slushy backswing. It was amazing. You know, and the cool thing about this is that it's all about teamwork. We had to defeat him, and once we defeated him, we just kept defeating him over and over. It was amazing. I found a basement and I died. I die in the basement! Me too! That's Basin the back link. Dead. That's the, the back link right dead. there. This is the part of the video where I remind you to smash that like button and be awesome. So now we're in 2022 and it is my opinion and my great honor to say that there's a very high possibility because it's been in the leaks. It has been leaked and I'm pretty sure those leaks are legit. It has been leaked that uh, Fortnite is collabing with this game. And if you don't know what this game is, it's another very popular horror game that is very competitive and very fun and you should really play it. Like this game is also like Fortnite, it does a lot of collabs, but it does collabs with the horror genre and it's gonna be amazing if the leaks are true and Fortnite does a collab with this game and I'm talking about Dead by Daylight Dead by Daylight is just an amazing game like you have to play this game especially for Halloween it, it's really good and it has such amazing cosmetics like the one I'm wearing but this in particular seems to be my favorite one that I need to get this year the, the Legion with his Halloween outfit. This is a Halloween must play. So yeah, I really, really think. And this game has only been getting better and better. So if you ever did play this game, I really suggest you guys to go back and revisit it because it ha ha it's had upgrades in graphics, gameplay, the game is epic. Now, I'll tell you what, the game is extremely competitive. But all the new call-ups they've been doing, there's everybody there. There's there's Freddy, there's uh, Scream, there's everybody you could imagine is there and who's not there yet will eventually get there. We got Michael Myers, uh, Chainsaw Massacre guy. You will not live to see the dawn. And as you can see, they got collabs with Resident Evil. It's amazing. You must play. But before you go, guys, please remember to leave a like and subscribe. I will greatly appreciate it. Thank you. So this is pretty much it. And now I'm going to leave you with some footage of Dead by Daylight so you could get a feel for what the game is like. And basically you play a survivor or a killer 
And if you're a survivor, you're in a team of four, and you basically gotta go around fixing generators to open the gates so you could escape. And you gotta do all this while being chased by a killer that is gonna stop you from fixing the generator so you don't escape. And at playing the killer, I gotta be honest, is not easy, but it's a, if you are successful at it, it's a lot of fun and very satisfying. Also, if you're a survivor and you manage to escape the killer, um, it's pretty satisfying as well, especially if you did a really good job. Now, I do gotta say, the game, survivors in this game, as in the, the players that has to survive, sometimes could be pretty toxic. So I suggest, if you do play this game, start playing as a survivor, get the feel of the game and the controller, and then work your way to killer, because playing killer, since you're playing by yourself, could be pretty devastating if everybody escapes and they're trolling you. But to be honest, it's an amazing game, and, and this type of game with practice, you just get better and better, and it's and once you get good at it, it gets very addictive. You know, it gets very addicting, and it's an awesome game. It's an awesome game. I really enjoy it, and I think everybody should check out this game and at least try it once. They've been doing such a great job upgrading and evolving. I do wish they would finally make a new version of the game for PS5, like a whole remake. A whole remake. I'm talking about new maps, new new graphics, like high fidelity, triple A quality where you know, without the microtransactions. <laughs> but yeah guys, I truly truly believe if you stick this far I encourage you to leave a comment below to let me know that you made it this far in the video. You just, just write down, made it this far. That's all I need to know to see if this length of a video was good and you're one of those that made it this, this far. I would greatly appreciate it. But yeah guys, this game, this Halloween, I'm pretty sure that Fortnite is gonna do a collab and I have no idea if they're just gonna bring the skins and I have no idea if they're just gonna do a creative map and imitate this gameplay but whatever they do I think it's gonna be amazing because there's a reason they're called epic games it's epic but yeah guys I'm gonna leave you watching the footage right here if you want to stick around if not there's nothing else I could say. Thank you for watching the video. Remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for being awesome. Peace.